tree identification can be overwhelming. Hopefully, by looking at these individual characteristics of the leaves, you can eliminate, it's a process of elimination as to what particular tree species it might be. Um, it can be a very rewarding experience. Uh, the most unrewarding part of it is in the fall and the winter, whenever the leaves start to fall off of your deciduous trees and you no longer have these. Uh, so how do you identify? Uh, a lot of people think, well, you just sit indoors all winter and not think about identifying trees. But that's not uh, totally true at all. There are characteristics of trees that are out there. Uh, luckily, on this particular tree right behind me, you see growing down very low are the leaves on this. Uh, and we could go through the keying process and figure out what kind of a tree this is. But in the winter, uh, not only are we going to have this bare uh, bark here, but these leaves are going to be off of this branch. And what I want you to recognize is that in the winter, we still have bark. And each one of these trees has an identifiable bark a little bit harder to identify than what the leaves are. But over time, you can find out uh, that each tree has an identifiable bark. Remember also there's fruit out there also. Each tree produces its own type of fruit. So it could either be on the tree or actually under the tree and you could help in the identification of that particular tree. But uh, on the bark, You'll notice on this particular tree that I have my hand on, it's a very smooth bark, it's a gray bark, and it has no indentations. It stays like this for its entire life. Uh, if we were to pan around somewhere uh, in these woods, we would find trees that are maybe 20, 30 inches in diameter. Continuous gray, smooth bark. This is the, uh, the characteristic of beech. Right behind us, to, the, to your left, You'll see another tree, much larger in size. You'll recognize very quickly it is not a beech because it does not have gray, smooth bark. But it has very deeply fissured, or at least it has deep fissures in it. And uh, again, this is another characteristic of other species. Uh, you also take a look at the way that the bark is actually weaved together, and that actually helps in identification. This is a member of, of the hickory family. And again, in the wintertime, uh, this bark characteristic becomes very, very evident. Uh, again, first day out there with bark, it's not the best thing to do. Uh, don't take up tree identification in the middle of winter. The best thing to do is to go to the woods with someone that is experienced and understands tree identification. And do not let that person go up to the tree and identify it for you and then start going through all the characteristics. The best thing is for you to go up to the tree, go through the characteristics, go through some elimination as to what potential trees it could be, and then after you've identified, have that expert uh, tell you how well you've done. Uh, but the best thing to do is not to go to the woods, have someone point them out to you, and then try to remember what they are. The best thing to do is to have some process of elimination.